NBC4's Angie Crouch tells us she believes the vaccine kept her, kept her rather, from getting seriously ill. Catherine Ames is a 22-year-old junior at USC studying theater and law history and culture. During the past year, she was hospitalized four times for lupus and a host of other chronic health issues. She needs regular infusions of medicine to boost her immune system. She knew she was high risk for serious complications if she caught COVID-19. So when she finally got the Moderna vaccine, she was relieved to have some protection. It was a blessing to get the vaccine and a huge sigh of relief for me and my family because uh, we knew that I was finally somewhat safe. Catherine and her family continued to stay away from crowds and follow safety protocols. But then about a month after her second shot, she woke up sick with a sore throat, body aches, and a low fever. But I thought, no way could this be COVID because I'm fully vaccinated. But she got tested anyway and was shocked to learn that she tested positive for COVID-19. She worried with her compromised immune system, she might end up back in the hospital. Catherine's doctors gave her the Regeneron antibody cocktail. They believe that treatment combined with the vaccine kept her symptoms mild and controllable at home. I firmly believe that the vaccine is the only reason that my symptoms didn't progress from moderate to severe to life-threatening. Doctors say breakthrough infections like Catherine's are extremely rare, but those with compromised immune systems may not produce as many antibodies against the virus after vaccination. Their response to um, the vaccine may not be as robust as somebody who is young, healthy, and has no other medical problems. So um, each person responds differently to the vaccination. Catherine's family is also fully vaccinated, and although she lives with them, none of them caught COVID-19 from her. More proof that the vaccines work. Catherine's feeling much better now, and she's looking forward to be back on the USC campus when classes resume there in the fall. Reporting live, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.